Now when you are cutting your aloe, I'm just going to use a, a regular knife. Now some people like to cut it closer to one side or the other. Some also like to just go straight down the middle. Um, looking at this one, I'm going to see if I can cut it closer to one side. You wanna try not to um, leave any of the green from the leaf behind. There is our gel. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so now that we have it sliced, what I have learned to do um, is I am going to, ooh, it's very slippery, so be careful. I am gonna cut it right over my blender. Let me get it a little closer for you guys so you can see what we got. This way. And then once it gets to a certain point, I'll then go in with my spoon directly into my blender cup. And then I think, let me see. Yep, just gonna spoon the rest of it right in. And again, trying to keep it steady is not easy. But I found it's easier for the spoon to where if you do need to rub it up against your hand, you won't cut yourself. And I am minimizing my mess by going right into my blender cup. Now our leaf is pretty much empty. And then I can move on to um, the next one. Getting my, my thick ones, my thick ones sliced. So again, we are going in with our knife, trying to go across. How juicy that is. I love that. I love that. And then take it right on across. And let it fall right into your cup. There you have it. And then you just did the same thing until you've done it all. Look at this. <laughs> So here is our aloe vera gel prior to us adding anything to it. Now from this point, whether you're making a face mask or something for your hair, or if you plan on ingesting it at this point, it is fully customizable. That would be how you um, get your leaves open, get your gel in your blender cup for you to go ahead and use it for whatever recipe you plan on using it for. In my particular case, as of tonight, I am going to be using it to make a hair mask. So what I am going to be adding to it is a vitamin E oil, as well as tea tree. Both are really good for your face. For both of these, I really don't plan on measuring. I'm just gonna go in with a few drops of vitamin E. And then for the tea tree, I'm gonna go light. On the tea tree, I'll just do, um, we'll do, four drops of tea tree oil. Now that I have everything in my Nutribullet, we're just gonna turn it on. Now it is gonna foam up, that is completely normal. There we have it. And then we're just going to transfer it from our blender to my jar. And here is our aloe vera gel. Now I am going to take it upstairs to the bathroom and do my first application of it to my face. <laughs> 